Hello and welcome to episode 11 of this no code series. At the end of episode 10 we created our basic app. We did however come across an issue. I have later on found out that that was an issue with my PDI and nothing else. So upon creating a brand new PDI it works absolutely fine. No errors with templates and the ability to add data, experiences, logic and security. So everything we need as a citizen developer without having to give any additional roles, I should add. So I've got Emily on this new instance and um, we still got our stories on my previous instance to re refer back to. So in terms of leave request and manager approval, etc. We're now going to start to... Um, make an effort into actually starting to develop these. So I'm just going to start the timer and we'll make a go at starting this one, which is to do with being able to su submit a leave request. So it does state in the acceptance criteria that it needs a start and end date, the type and any additional notes. So let's just update that. So that's in progress. Let's go across to App Engine Studio. So what we do want and what I'd like to do in this is have this completely separate to any other um, uh, application and service now. So I do want a different data point to extend the uh, table. So I could do this through import. I'm going to create this from scratch. Now if I just go to begin. I'm going to call it leave request. So. Um, so I'm going to create from existing table. So I'm going to call this, um, I'm going to say task. So I'm going to extend from task. And um, the table label we're going to call it is leave request. Leave request. Um, we want to auto number it, which we'll um, we'll just uh, prefix it with that uh, number of digits, just three maybe. Obviously, it'll probably be a lot higher. Um, and starting number of zero zero one, let's say. Okay, add permissions to the table. So um, both admin and user can create read write for now. Obviously. You could do a lot more in this sort of space to define a lot more tighter controls around who can do what. But as a start, we have a table. And I'm just going to go edit table to then to start thinking about what additional fields we need on there. So on the story, we did have a few fields which we might not necessarily have on the extended task table. So here we have our table here and obviously we can browse to see if a particular field is there for us but I am just going to go add new field and I'm going to say leave start date Call them leave start date it's of type date time and uh, well date I guess you don't really want to specify a time do you and let's add a new field for leave end date so this is where AI can come in in the future and just say oh I've recognized that the name says date therefore I'm gonna presume it's a date field um, I'm also going to include uh, leave type as a choice field choice and um, choice type. Okay, yep, so we've got drop down with an un, um, it will have to be without none. And let's enter some choices in here. So vacation, let's add that. We want to add in um, uh, sick, sickness leave, maybe public holiday. Uh, let's leave out that for now. And done. And I need to set the default value on this leave type to vacation. That's probably going to be the most popular, isn't it? Um, and then 
maybe I want to add another field in here maybe a field for maybe justification now of course I could have done this as just standard request and written uh, if I wanted to um, I'm just being particularly pedantic here and have it completely separate so I'm gonna say max length 500 eventually there'll be some logic around these fields to suggest that obviously end date needs to be after start date um, if the leave is of a certain type then you need to enter on a justification maybe for sickness you don't for example or public holiday um, I guess public holiday is not even a suggestion is it I mean um, sickness leave I don't want to request public holiday that's stupid um, <laughs> So you request sickness, maybe for an extended period of time. That makes sense. Requested vacation. Okay, I'm just going to stick with those two. They make more sense than requesting public holiday. you got to get it. So that's stupid. Um, okay, let's just stick with those particular fields here. And I'm just going to click on save. So then we have our table. And at the moment, the admin and user of this particular uh, record can create... Um, those roles, sorry, can create this particular uh, record here. Now, obviously, there's a lot more that we can do off the back of that in terms of forms. So you can switch to the kind of form view um, where we're going to get a lot more information on the form. We will do that next. We will configure this form layout so that once it has been um, requested, it's going to appear in the necessary form layout for us. So uh, join in the next one where we go through form design.